Hey everyone, get ready for this hydrovane installation and a little bit behind the scenes look at some unexpected challenges I faced along the way. Both projects don't always go smoothly, but with the right mindset you can power through almost anything. Stick around to the end to see what I mean. Next, I'm Luis Neto. This is my voyage from refugee to refitting a sailboat. I'm a barber at sea, cutting through the waves. If I can do it, so you can. So let's dive into getting this hydrovent set up. As we go, I will share how I adapt to a recent setback and found creative solutions to keep this project moving. This is built like a tank, perfect for rough seas when reliability is everything. And the best part, no batteries to drain. This runs purely on wind and water. It even acts as an emergency rudder. Now that's a peace of mind. I have heard hydrovane actually improves your sailing. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Alright, this isn't the cheapest upgrade, but for serious cruising, it's an investment. Installation does take some know-how. If you are not DIY savvy, you might need a pro. I discover a smart way to secure my hydrovane boil while working solo by attaching it to the main cell rope. And the hydrovane pole is leveled. Now I have to tighten. 
some of the boats right there and level I went with the UHMW backing plates over thick. Ditch the hassle of thick. UHMW Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene. This is super tough plastic, offers incredible wear and abrasion resistant, plus a sleek low friction surface. Best of all, it's more cost affordable than thick and requires zero varnishing or upkeep. Right, well you must be an expert on it now. <laughs> Hard work. Hard work. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah, hard work, but it's all done. Oh, this is the... Uh, yeah. That's the it's, it's interesting, you know, that I, I, I came across the paperwork for mine. And it was uh, bought in Alright, it is the deal. Remember that challenge I mentioned? Well, turns out I recently broke my wrist in a boatyard accident, but I refuse to let that stop me from doing what I love. This is the lead counterweight that I'll be installing here on the drive unit. Sometimes you gotta find solutions instead of excuses.
Attaching a rope line to your hydro vein is vital for safety and cost saving reasons. Prevents loss. A secure rope line ensures your hydro vein doesn't accidentally slip overboard. Replacing this gear can be extremely expensive. For safety reasons as well, it's easier to retrieve should you accidentally drop a tool or part of the attachment hydro vein gives you a chance to retrieve it rather than losing it in the depths. Less fatigue, more freedom, safer sailing. If you are serious about long passages, the hydrovane is hard to beat. Man, even with one hand in cast, it feels great to get this upgrade done on my boat. Remember, setbacks happen, but it's how you overcome them that matters. Let me know in the comments what challenges have you faced in your own project. Want to see it in action in my next big trip? Subscribe and hit the bell. 
technical questions about the hydrovane? Drop them in the comments below. Let's discuss. Click like. Help the channel grow.